Dow now down 92. Let's get to Chicago. Rick Santelli at the CME. Hey, Rick. Hi, Carl. You know, I found it interesting this morning that we had the pairing of uh, productivity, costs, and, of course, the ADP jobs number. So to summarize, we see that productivity isn't as robust. We see unit labor costs falling away, and we just don't see enough jobs. I read several papers recently, and one of the papers I read is uh, Rethinking Conventional Wisdom, a Monetary Tour to Horizon for 2013. Uh, it was in the February edition of Globe Asia, and I want to read a couple of things that were written by Stephen Hank. Okay? The Fed zero interest rate has exacerbated a credit crunch that has been holding back the economy. The only way out of this trap is for the Fed to abandon the conventional wisdom that zero interest rates stimulate the creation of credit. See, when you look at these numbers, and we had a bit of a discussion actually on Squawk Box, think about it this way. If I'm a business owner, why am I going to invest in people? I have the costs of Obamacare coming up and everything I've read. It, it certainly doesn't look like they're going to be contained, and it doesn't look like they're going to be less than the shoddy system we were trying to fix. Uh, you, you have a variety of issues. Uh, not only health care costs, but just the fact that you have benefits. You have a lot of things associated with the biggest cost on most businesses' balance sheet, the human cost. So instead, what do you do? This article brings up some great points. If I'm a business owner, hey, with zero interest rate policy, I can get some money, and what I'll do is I'll invest in software to basically get rid of people. Okay? I'll try to become more efficient. There is very little incentive for the hiring part of this equation. Let's bring up another paper. Fed stimulus chokes indirect finance to SMEs, small and medium-sized enterprise, basically small and medium-sized business. This is written by Stanford economist Ronald McKinnon. And the reason I enjoyed this is for the same reasons. He looks at it from the lender side of the equation. He says it this way. He says, why would a bank want to offer any small or medium-sized business loans at the current structure of interest rates. There's just, there's not enough in it to take the risk. So this is one of these catch-22s where, and I've had this debate for years, going back to 2010, that if ultimately the price of capital goes up, if the cost of money goes up, lending money gets more profitable and the amount of customers that can get involved becomes larger. It seems a bit inconsistent with the Fed's plan and I guess that's the point of both of these papers. So in the future I think a lot of these economists that have been studying Japan for two decades have a lot to say because zero interest rate policy certainly wasn't the panacea for Japan. Back to you Carl. All right. Thanks so much Rick. See you in a little bit.